This video will demonstrate how to create an elevation drawing inside of Visio. Uh, I have a project file open here. I've got the project editor docked on the left side and the Visio interface here on the right um, side of the screen because I'm working off of a single monitor. And um, a elevation drawing in Visio can be used uh, for rack elevations. Uh, it could be to show screens. Um, generally, any um, front-facing um, view of a uh, system or um, whatever you're creating. Um, you can also create side views on an elevation. And um, what we'll first do is just, uh, let's pull over a rack to this page. I'm just gonna uh, select a rack here from the uh, project editor and drop it on the page. Now, the shapes that drop on an elevation page are to scale based on the height and width of the product. So um, if you wanna change your drawing scale here, you can. I'm going to leave this the same size for now. And you can pull over other pieces of equipment too. Um, anything that has a height and a width at least because that's the default view. And of course, if you want a side view, you would need a depth entered. I'll pull over uh, this component here. And you can drop that on the page. And um, that's basically how you go about um, creating elevation. Now I'm just going to open this full screen here and just talk a little bit more about this. Um, again, the shapes that drop here are to scale. You cannot resize these by dragging a corner or a side uh, control handle. Um, let's take a look at this. Now this is a generic view uh, for this product. And where that pulls from is over here. Uh, it's based on category. And so in this case, um, you can always double click a shape, by the way, to open the uh, product editor for this. I can see that it's coming from the category processors and it has a subcategory of preamp. Uh, what that means is that over here in the uh, processor stencil, if there happens to be an elevation shape and they're named preamp, that's the shape that will drop. If not, there is a default generic processor's shape uh, meant for these elevation pages. So um, I'm going to close that and uh, we'll go down here to processors. And you can expand this list to see a view. Let me go ahead and expand that for you. Of everything that's in here. So let's see if there's anything named preamp. There is. Uh, preamp, so that's the shape that dropped. Now, if you want it to look like something else in here, let's. I'm just gonna pick this equalizer. You can always right click a uh, shape, go to D Tools, Shape, Chain Shape, and it's gonna recommend the preamp shape for you, but you can always just expand and assign it to any shape that you want. Um, in fact, it's not gonna even force you to pick an elevation shape here, uh, but you should. Let's go ahead and do that, and I'm going to come down here and choose Equalizer. Now, the default here is to save as the default shape in the catalog. So the next time you drag the same product over, it will drop this Equalizer shape versus that um, the default preamp one. Um, I'll go ahead and leave that checked just so I can show you what it does. Go ahead and save that. And now it's changed the shape. It didn't resize it because it's still based on the height and width, but it has changed the look of this. And uh, that save as default shape, I'll go ahead and open the... Um, editor again here for the product here. And if you now go to the shapes and blocks window, you'll see that for elevation views in Visio, um, it's now overriding the default and it's going to drop this equalizer shape moving forward. Uh, some other cool things that you can do here, um, you can right click and mark it as rack mounted if you want and that will change the look of the shape. It'll take the feet off of it and add little screw shapes. And you can then pull this over here and snap it into a rack. Now this may need rack ears, uh, which uh, can be added. Uh, you can see the little snap points here. Uh, you may be putting this on a custom shelf. It all depends on the component. But uh, that's how you go about building a, um, an elevation here. And here is a finished example of an elevation page. You can see that um, all the parts have been added here to a rack. And uh, here's another example of a uh, finished elevation page.